talking a lot about stress. Does stress get to you? Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome. Welcome to the, to the morning walk this morning instead of the drive. I'm climbing up my normal mountain that I go for a walk each morning. Actually, I'm going down now because uh, I'm out of breath too much when I'm going up the mountain. So it's best to talk to you when I'm going down the mountain. Is stress a big factor in, in your life? It certainly is in mine. They uh, Statistically, they say that the most stressful jobs in the world, just to name, say, four or five, is the President of the United States, school teachers and principals, CEOs, and listed there with them is, is pastoral work, being a pastor, being a minister of uh, a church congregation and so forth. So being a pastor is listed as one of the top five most stressful jobs in the world. Wow. So how do we deal with stress? If you, if you exclude God from the equation, people would say, well, you've got to drink lots of water each day. You've got to get good sleep. Um, you've got to eat nutritious food, uh, all those right sort of foods, healthy foods for your brain, and you've got to exercise, exercise, because that burns off a lot of adrenaline and so forth and helps you manage stress. Now, all these things are very critical and very crucial in your life dealing with stress. And the trouble is, it's hard to do a lot of these things when you're so stressed, you know, because you can be depressed and you can start to eat wrongly. You can say to yourself, I don't want to go for that walk this morning. You may not drink water, you might drink soft drink instead because you need a bit of a pick-me-up because you're feeling, because of the stress, you're feeling uh, less energetic. And so we can fall into these bad habits that just exasperate, just increase the effects of stress and depression and all of these things. But hey, I've got the number one way to to deal with stress and that is if you could pass your stress and burdens and just pick them off out of yourself and throw them on the ground or put them elsewhere wouldn't that be easy wouldn't it be easy just to grab your daily amount of stress and throw it off you well jesus tells us that all you that are a burden and heavy laden and this is with stress and the weight of the world come to me and I will give you rest, he says. Rest from that stress, rest from that burden. And so what it is, it takes faith, of course, and knowing Jesus. But if you say, hey, Lord, take my stress, take my burdens off me. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to give them to you. And I'm going to ask for your promise to give me rest from these burdens. And Jesus will do that. And if you really, really sincerely pass that to him and say, look, I'm not going to worry about it. You will be surprised with the peace and calmness that comes into your life. It's quite incredible. It's like catching a rugby league ball. Instead of hanging on to it, you pass it. You pass it on to Jesus and you put your faith and trust in him that no matter what you're going through, no matter what's stressing you, he will deal with it in his own good time because his own good time is perfect timing. They talk about a lot of the great athletes in, in different sports and one thing they all have is perfect timing. And if you're a novice and you come along and you're playing with the best, your timing will be all over the place. So we often want God to do things in our timing, but we're like a novice. We need to give it to him, the master timer of the best time to act in your life. Because remember, he's not just there to take the burdens off you. He's there to be a spotter, just like at the gym and you're lifting heavy weights. Sometimes the weight's too heavy for you, so your spotter comes in and just takes a little bit, not the whole lot just a little bit of that weight so you can manage whatever you can manage that'll help you build a muscle instead of drop the bar down on your chest or something and that's the job of the spotter to protect you from the overload jesus will do that to you and anything less than the overload with the right attitude is going to build you stronger and so the lord needs to do that to you he wants to build you up and get you stronger and so you got to trust him in that and often he'll push you to the limit and you say, how much more can I bear? But a coach does the same thing. A coach trying to get the best out of you will always push you to, a, to an area of stress and strain that you will say, hey man, that's more than I can bear. But the coach believes in you and the coach knows that you can do more. And so you gotta trust your coach. And the same thing with Jesus. We gotta trust him because he's the master coach with the master timing and put your trust and rest in him when you're stressed. Just read some of his verses. Google wonderful promises from Jesus in the Bible and read them and focus on how awesome he is and he's your master coach. And I tell you, the stress will lift because hope comes into your life. 
Well, bless you this morning. I hope you subscribe in the bottom right hand corner and come along with me on the drive. Sometimes it's the walk <laughs> and sometimes when I, my bike's going, it's the ride. So bless you all and we'll catch you again.